Hello everyone! Today's wandering is a pre-planned wandering because I'm taking you to a really beautiful special place which is not for free so it's a ticketed thingy it's called the London Wetland Centre and it is quite a special place um, it was done on purpose opened 20 years ago and um, they were very clever because on this site there used to be four massive Victorian reservoirs and they repurposed them so now it has turned into a beautiful wetland and it has a few interesting bits like there's only certain well there are certain birds that can only be found here nowhere else in London so I hope to spot a few today I kind of forgot what's what but if I see something I will look them up and let you know in the description and there's a beautiful swan gliding towards us and under the bridge but anyway I can see some other birds in the distance this is just before the entrance where we are now and um, I'm just gonna go a little bit further to show you some other bits. really pretty, all the duckweed on top of the pond and I forgot his name but I know that he played a big part in the conservation of the wetlands in this country again, <laughs> I'll add it in the description uh, I've already seen about three dragonflies close to here but they're really fast, so they zoomed away. Anyway, hopefully we'll get to see some inside, more close. So, here we go. The London Wetland Centre. Okay, we are in. And we are starting our little wandering. Because of the COVID madness, there's a one-way system, so they have organized it in a way that you can only go <laughs> one way, <laughs> just as I said. And then uh, you need to loop back, and then you can visit the other side of the wetlands. So we'll do that. Let's see the first pond a bit. More hands. What else is there? There's something in the distance which I can't identify it uh, yet. Probably will loop around there. But it just looks beautiful. In this enclosure, there are supposed to be otters, but it's midday and I'm pretty sure they're hiding. I'll try to spot them if possible. There is one resting and sunbathing. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, we moved on from the otters and I just read that there is 13 different types of otters in the world. 
But I had to move on because a whole lot of children came about and it's nice for them to look at them as well. But it's not good for me <laughs> because I can't film children because of YouTube rules. But I found some little mushrooms. And obviously this is a yummy one. Look, somebody snacked on it. <laughs> a little creature, I'm sure. There's another pond. We eat all sorts of interesting ducks in it. It's not the best vantage point for me to film, so I'm gonna go around. But it's just so beautiful with these conifers around. It's just lovely. And my usual annoyance, airplane noise. <laughs> what can you do? Everything is so nicely done. All these little connecting bridges. And if I remember correctly, they have also done different type of little houses. Like yurts and uh, log cabins. And I just see the log cabin in front of us. So, let's have a look at the pond, and then at the cabin. Filming here will not be easy, because <laughs> there's a lot of humans and a lot of mini-humans. And there's a lot of chatter, and they're all over the place, so I'm trying really hard to avoid them as much as I can. But it's not going to be easy. There's some really beautiful ones here. But I can't get too close because there's fences all over the place. So it's for their safety, which I understand. But I am used to more natural <laughs> habitats where you can get a little bit closer to creatures than here anyway it's gonna be nice hopefully in other ponds the ducks and geese will be closer oops people uh, i'll try and go to the other side There's all sorts of impediments for me filming today, but hey, I'll try to work it around. The reflection in the water is really beautiful. And there's a little more hand. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, here's the little log cabin. And we're gonna go. I think you're allowed to go inside. At least it used to be allowed in the past. But now everything changed with this whole COVID thing. And the view onto that pond I was trying to observe. Well, the wetland center visit will be at least two videos long because otherwise one will be lasting for hours. So don't want to do that to you all in one go so i'm going to split it up 
because there's a lot of beautiful things to look at. Come on, duckies, come this way. Some of the ducks came to feed this um, thingy with the mesh on top. It's a feeder and it says that they did it on purpose so the seagulls, well, gulls in general, can't come and get the food. But the ducks will continue doing what they're supposed to do, ducking for food. <laughs> so there's one lurking about and there's a few others ducking and there's more coming. Look at them. Oh, really pretty. There's some nice flowers as well. And oh, they're all coming this way now. It's lunchtime. <laughs> As I suspected, the log cabin is shut. We are not allowed to visit it, which kind of makes sense because it's a confined space. But it's a shame because it's really beautiful inside and um, they also displayed some objects that folk would use in such a place. But that's that. There's not much we can do about it. Hopefully this will pass sometime soon. This is a different pond. And let's see some more beautiful ducks. Okay, I'm gonna go around it because everything's very far from here. Okay, these ones are having a little rest. Their hats are very strange looking to me. I'm not quite sure what kind of ducks they are. Again, <laughs> something for me to look up when I get home. Sorry, I just <laughs> went into a spider web. Had to clean that off my arm. Look at you. Floaty resting. We are in the first week of September and the leaves have started to turn in color. And some of them are already really, really beautiful. Look at that. Reds, different shades. Pretty. Berries are starting to ripen. It looks so beautiful. The red on green. <laughs> Okay, I'm showing you this little patch because if I remember correctly, 
there used to be a yurt here. And obviously, there is no more. They've taken it apart. What a shame. As they organize this one-way system, it's slightly annoying because you can't really go where you want. Look, I can't go that way. I need to go whichever they want me to go. But hey, I'm liking these raindrops on the leaves. Pretty. And another beautiful view with the reflection of the trees in the water. And I found some more berries. These are different. I need your knowledge, people. Please leave it in the comments if you can identify it. You can see the leaves and the berries. They're so pretty. Hiding on the Okay, this enclosure is closed as well. But look on this log. There's a lot of beautiful tree fungi. <laughs> and here Little ants are going for a walk. <laughs> Back to the fungus. It's big. The size of it, it's like two footballs. Just so you can imagine it. And I'm going to be going that way. It's another little garden that's closed. And it got a bit overcast, so the light has changed. But it's beautiful still. And there are some different berries. I think they're called snowberries. Let's have a look at them. That's a really, really big one. <laughs> I remember these when I was a kid, where I used to live. Um, walking home from school, there used to be loads. And we used to pick them and put them on the ground and pop them <laughs> with our shoes and they made a funny noise. But now I just like looking them at them. Pretty. There's a plaque about some of the conservation work they're doing and this one is about the Hawaiian goose and I'm just gonna go like this so you can read it and I hope that we will get to spot some of these beautiful creatures very soon. And in the meantime, it started drizzling, so... Oh, go away, rain! 
Okay, let's explore this section. And I hope to find that Hawaiian goose. There's some different ones in the distance. You can see those black and white ones. I'm gonna try and go closer. I found some. They're in a the distance. I'm gonna try and zoom a little bit. I can see two and some ducks there. Oh, it's just so hard to get closer to them. <laughs> and what's hiding down there? I think those that's another pair. It's just they safely nestled away. And there's some really oh there's two little interesting duckies. And I wanted to show you this fruit from the tree above me. It's really cool. Again, something I don't know what it is. It looks like some sort of nut, like it has a protective outer shell. And it's quite a tall tree. Pretty. Beautiful to look at. A little more hand. And let's have a look at these black and white ones. They're having a little rest. They look quite big. Um, there's a crocodile. Ah! <laughs> Just the fake one. In the meantime, more and more people are gathering. So, there's a lot of chatter going on. I'm gonna walk around it and hopefully I'll get closer to those special geese. The Egyptian geese are having a bit of a scuffle. <laughs> it smells really amazing here. There is quite a few eucalyptus trees in this area. I'm going to show you the bark of this one. And it's shedding. There's more there. Let's have a look at the leaves as well. And as I said, it smells absolutely amazing. <laughs> As I said before, I'm not alone here. 
and they're beautiful and they're ducking and look there's a little more hen who's carrying construction material I don't know if you can see her with stuff in her beak I am under a young eucalyptus tree enjoying the amazing aroma of it and I have decided to end this episode here because it's getting longish but I will continue so I can break it up for two or maybe even three weeks we'll see how long it goes I hope you enjoyed it so far and I wish you a really lovely day or whatever's left of it if you are watching in a different part of the world and um, yeah tune in for part two or possibly part three as well bye all